God put us capable of having bodies, but also with souls. He put us with souls, but also bodies. We have to constantly be aware of both. You've got to look after your body. You also have to look after your soul. But then he gave us Athens, the world of the Greeks. The world of the Greeks is a place where only the physical matters. There is no spiritual. Where is the natural legacy of the Greek culture found in America today? With apologies to those of you who may work there or have children there, the university campus. In fact, they even call it, do you know what sororities are and fraternity? They call it the what system? The Greek system, of course. And what do the main buildings always look like of university, you know, the library or the admin building? What do they always look like? They always look like the Parthenon on the Acropolis in Athens because they've kept alive the spirit of secularism, the spirit of materialism. Do you follow what we're saying? It's very important. Now, here comes the toughest part of all, which is that um, you could... In the worst case, you could have to choose between being a body without a soul or a soul without a body. Let's imagine, and it's not hard to think back in history to times where God-fearing Christians and God-fearing Jews had to lose their lives to keep their souls. The other way, God forbid is to lose your soul to keep your body. 